All right, it's showtime. Well, it's almost showtime. It's not quite showtime yet. We're still in the parking lot, but we're at the Rebel, our favorite place in the whole wide world. I think the best part about this place is the nap I take on the way here. I think the best thing about this place is the hot dog that we get after the show. That too. That's fucking amazing. That hot dog has all sorts of things in it. They're probably not healthy, but who the fuck cares? After the show, we're starving. So anyways, we're here for Arch Enemy Behemoth. Napalm Death, they're finally in town for one of the most anticipated tours of the spring. So we are not going to miss it for the world. We're here, we're excited. Uh, man, the last time I saw Arch Enemy was at this venue with the Monomarth. Yeah. Holy shit. That seems like a lifetime ago. That was a long time ago, yeah. Very long time ago. All right, so people are starting to line up. We're probably going to do the same. We're going to hit up the lineup. And uh, you guys are going to come with us for the journey of what I expect to be a very fun and enjoyable evening. So we'll see you guys. I was going to say we see you in the pit, but there's no fucking way you're going to see us in the pit. You're going to see us by the sound by the sound booth. Yeah. Uh, safe, uh, center, far enough. That's our we, place, man. That That is our spot. I, I feel like we have that real estate spot right there. But at the end of the night, we tend to walk towards the pit when it's safe. And say hi to our buddies at security. Yeah. Yeah, just to see how they're doing. Maybe they'll hook us up with a guitar pick. Who knows? All right. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, throughout the evening. All right. See ya. Look at this incredible skyline of Toronto. If there's one great thing about the Rebel is the view. It's fucking awesome. Look at that shit. Great city. Great city. By the way. I don't know about you guys, but we always check the set list before going to a show. I know, I, 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 I can't contain myself. I need to see exactly what the band is playing before actually walking in. The set lists look fucking phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, Napalm Death playing 16 songs. Arch Enemy set list is pretty much a highlight reel of their best songs. Some of the new tracks, Deceiver Deceiver is what they're opening up with. Sorry if it's a spoiler, but whatever. Anyhow, just wanted to show you guys this incredible skyline of Toronto look at this guy he just got out of the car he's been sleeping the whole way and now we're gonna go back there see that's the rebel back there that's where the fun is gonna happen tonight right there all right we're gonna go line up The show is about to start. On to others is the first band of the night. You guys can see it. Yeah. On to others is gonna come on. And the hostilities are about to start. Antonio and with our friend. Hey, how's it going, guys? All right. So, uh, what did you think about Onto Others? Never mind. Don't, don't say. <laughs> uh, he's not a big fan, but what, what does he know? His taste is very limited. Oh, his, taste is, his taste is very limited. He doesn't know shit for shit. <laughs> I'll let I let the man speak. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Napalm Death is next.
napalm death just finished and we're gonna get your take on what the band uh, was all about. Nazi punks fuck off. All right, he digged it, he digged it. Not that it really matters what he thinks about it, but <laughs> he digged it, he digged it. Yep. All right, so Arch Enemy is next. Yes. All Looking right. forward to it. Let's go. Yep. So Antonio, what did you think about napalm death? <laughs> It doesn't matter what you think about the Panda. <laughs> This is the famous post-concert hot dog. <laughs> no, seriously, last time we were here, remember we talked about the hot dog? It's this bad boy. This is actually a sausage. It's probably Polish, considering Behemoth was playing. So it's Polish sausage. Ben, talk, uh, tell us about your hot dog. It's got fake bacon on it, sauerkraut, ketchup mayo, which is might be an unpopular topping to mayo, but ketchup we like it. Aren't you afraid of having the shits on the way home? No. Nope. Wow. This man is courageous. If I do, I'm gonna clean my car tomorrow. This man is courageous. Mm -hmm. uh, you should always have a roll of toilet paper in I your trunk. I do have trunk. lots of uh, Kleenexes in my car. All right. <laughs> smart, smart move, smart move. All right, guys, so the hot dogs are finished, the concert is over, and we just had some McDonald's to boot. Happy meal happy. makes you happy. And you get a toy, yeah. which not the kind of toy that I like, but a toy nevertheless. All right, so the show started off with Unto Others, I must say I knew absolutely fucking dick all about this band. And but I left a fan. I am a fan too. Yeah, we've been playing them in the car. Uh, we're playing them right now. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background. Nightfall from uh, from Unto Others. Fuck, they, the only thing I, I wish is that the set was longer. I really do wish the set was longer. It was actually the second time this year that we've gone to the Rebel and then done our little you know video at the end. And um, we were surprised at the opening band that we knew nothing about. You're actually wearing a hoodie. Straight, uh, straight from the path. Straight from the path when we went to see uh, Under Oath. Uh, unto others, man. I, I like the sound. It's like dark goth rock. It's not heavy, but it's fucking groovy. It's good. I like Very it. Good. Yeah, I like it. Um, you know, the, the lead singer is wearing sunglasses, which I always say there's only two kinds of people that wear sunglasses at night. Douchebags and blind people. I actually don't think he's either one of those. So he might be the exception to the rule. He is. The, the, this dude is going to be the exception to the rule. But anyways, great band. If you guys have a chance to go see this tour, don't sleep on this band. Go check them out. They're the first band of the evening. Okay, they're no behemoth. They're no arch enemy. They're definitely no napalm death. But the fucking sound was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. I had a great time. A band that I'm going to add to my playlist. I'm definitely going to check more from them. We've been listening to them in the car. So, yes. Great band. Great opening band. Different sound. But great nevertheless. I really yeah. enjoyed it. A nice discovery for the night. A very nice discovery. All right. Now, now on to Napalm Death. And let's hear from this guy. Because this guy loved Napalm Death. I know. Uh, 
Yeah, the reason, I think one of the biggest reasons why I wish these guys had a longer, the, um, um, Unto, Unto Others, uh, is... Unto Others. Unto Others, is the reason why I wanted them to have a bigger set was to kind of drown out the big set of, uh, of, uh, Napalm Death. I, I, you, you guys know this, he knows this, it's not my thing, you know, I don't know what you're doing right because now. Because, you know, like, I can't believe you. Fucking not, uh, hating on Napalm Death. T t tell the folks at home what you said to me at the show. Literally right after, like, the Right, right after, after the like, set, as soon as the set was over. I'm like, fuck, that sounds like what my friends who don't listen to metal think, What like, what metal sounds like. It's actually pretty accurate, I'm going It's really say. accurate, It's yeah. actually pretty accurate. I'm going to say it's pretty accurate. But listen, I grew up listening to Napalm Death, uh, and I think I jizzed a little bit when they played Suffer the Children. It's one of my favorite songs from them I couldn't all tell. time. I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell what? Did I jizz myself or, or that Suffer the Children was playing? I couldn't tell what was playing what. <laughs> I swear to God, I couldn't tell. Guys, it, it, was, it was as close to waterboarding with music as it comes. Oh, yeah. You guys should have seen his face. Oh, my God. It his face like... his face was like, you, you know when you fart in an elevator or somebody farts in an elevator and you don't know who did it, but it fucking stinks, but you can't get out because you're in between floors? That's kind of his face. Which, I, I mean, I had as much fun... Listening to Napalm Death, has I had looking at him suffering the children during Napalm Death? Uh, it was great. It was great. I, I, I Second time seeing them in a very short period of time because I saw them in November with Gore, so I got to see them again. I actually enjoyed the set tonight better than the one with Gore. Um, you know, I must say this. Barney on... Say what you will about the music, but the, the man has the cardio... Of a fucking 15 year old. He does. Holy shit. The man is moving around going absolutely mental. He does. I wish does. I had that cardio. I don't I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart. I don't know, man. Or the lungs. I, I, I know don't. it's not for you. It's not for me. All right. Arch Enemy. Arch second, Enemy. Second time we see Arch Enemy at the Rebel. We've seen them there with the Monomarth. Now uh, they were there with Behemoth. What did you think? First of all, what did you think about the new songs? They played all three new tracks. Happy about that. All right. Um, and they sounded really good live. Fuck, the new songs actually sound really good live. They really, 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 good, really live. good live. Yes. Um, I feel like today I wasn't really going for Arch Enemy, but Ooh. they were they were a big they were obviously a big uh, plus because you know we've seen Arch Enemy three times now. Three times now. But actually, and, I thought the set list tonight was really stacked. It was really stacked, yeah. Fuck, the compared set to list the, tonight compared was... Compared to the other nights we've gone, I think this was the best set list. Listen, when we saw them with Amon and Marth, they had a really... Really short set. Really short set. I'm actually very happy that it was long, obviously going to be longer. So it was like I'm 12, 13 songs, something yeah, like that. Yeah, and I'm happy with the song choices because, I mean, obviously really, really good. Um, I, I honestly... Can you think of another song that should have been there that wasn't there? I can't really think well, of it. Think cross, so, but I mean, we uh, but they never that do one. that song live. Plus, if if you if you have new songs from the upcoming album, you're gonna play those. You're gonna play those, and they did those. And you know what? All three of them sounded phenomenal live. Phenomenal. They, they did. They did. Um, there was a little bit of an issue with the mic for the first two songs. There was. Yeah. They changed the mic. Uh, it improved things quite a bit. And but overall it was a great performance. Tons of energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the crowd was lit. I actually think there were more people there for Arch Enemy than there were for Behemoth. There was because when Behemoth came on, I noticed that there was I was more able room. To move. Yeah, there was more room. Some people left after Arch Enemy. There was definitely more Which, people there for Arch Enemy. I mean, they're lost, man. I, I think the, uh, it's it, it saw, really is their loss. We but saw our Arch Enemy. Um, I guess you could say recently. Well, before, before the pandemic, before the pandem we saw them in 2019. That's true, dude. I, that's, that's not, not recently at all. But but I, I think I was looking. I, I was looking forward to Arch Enemy, but I was also looking forward to Behemoth. Just See, I, I was looking forward to both bands for different reasons. For Arch Enemy, I was looking forward to them because of set. Bigger set and the new and songs. The new songs. That's because the new songs sounded really good when we checked out the videos. But how do they sound live? But behemoth, behemoth wise, is because behemoth the first, wise, the first time we saw them with Slayer was a really short set. And also, I wasn't as big as a fan as I am now. And it was outdoors. And it was, and it was in the middle of the fucking day. Exactly. That's not Behemoth. Yeah, you don't want to see Behemoth at twelve o'clock in the afternoon. It's like seeing Vatine, like yeah, that's. It's exactly. like seeing Vatine at a birthday party. Exactly. Fuck that. Actually, that would be kind of funny at a birthday party. Yeah, hey, my birthday party, I would be done with that but anyways um i was i was so excited for that for that behemoth set and I, started, I don't think it disappointed at all it either did not disappoint whatsoever i had so much fun with that set 
Um, Me too. Every, I mean, every song. Is there a song that you wish that was there that wasn't there? Um, Blow Your Trumpets, Gabriel. That, maybe that, 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 yeah, that. that definitely that one. I think that was missed. That, that was, was dearly that missed. Was, that was dearly missed. I mean, the way they, obviously the way they ended off with Oh Father, Oh Satan, Oh Son. Oh, yeah, that was fucking glorious Could, ending. Have, yeah, and then I'm happy they were also the, the finishing off band uh, because yeah there was such, basically technically the headliner yeah because that's such, such a way to end off the night it's it's the best way to end off the night with the, with the best possible song exactly i agree i, I agree looking, I, I feel like throughout that set i was getting happier and happier then when we started getting closer to the end i'm like okay i need to calm down because i need to use the rest of my energy in the last song because that song is my favorite song oh down, i, I thought you were gonna like say i need to save my energy for that hot dog at the end but anyways Two more things I want to add about about Behemoth, and that is that they Bart Zabel, it wasn't one of my favorite songs when the album came out. I honestly I liked it, but I was like, eh, you know, it's so I it felt like such an average song considering the rest of the record. But like fucking it. live, it sounds amazing. See, I was saying we were we were uh, waiting. Um not waiting, but the, the the songs were playing, and we were looking at the set list because we wanted to know what was playing next. We, yeah, we always I, check the set list, anyways. And I pointed to it. I'm like, I'm excited for this song, and you're like, Oh, really? I'm, you know, the album it wasn't really the, my favorite. No, it wasn't. And but it, when, it started, so when it started, I looked at you, and I'm like, Dude, this is fucking. Amazing it's amazing live. because you have every you have the, the the guitar player and the bass player singing. Uh, Bards about it, it has such a great atmosphere. It, it's uh, and then people start singing too, so it feels like you're like. You're, you're in an unholy church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucking amazing. It creates great atmosphere. So I wanted to mention that. And also, I can't remember now the name of the song, but they played a new track from their upcoming album. So there was, there's going to be, for those of you attending this tour, there's going to be a brand new Behemoth song that's going to be part of the next record. So something for everybody to check out. I honestly, the big surprise of the night was Unto Others because I had never heard of them before. Napalm Death for this guy... You know, let's not go there. But for me, it was fucking glorious. And I got to meet Barney at the end of the show. So that was even better. Arch Enemy, they had some audio issues for the first couple of songs. Changed the mic. Things got better. Great set. Once again, I don't think you can put an Arch Enemy set list together better than the one that we got on this tour. This was... Uh, Honestly, I mean, for, finishing um, with Nemesis. Uh, the three new... Tr for me, the three new tracks is really... I have to go back to that. I'm really Those happy. the stars of the show. But yeah. I've heard every other song that... that and how they sounded and then behemoth great stage show phenomenal atmosphere great set list as well yeah. i mean you could you could maybe make an argument for one or two songs missing there probably blow your trumpets gabriel definitely dearly missed but finishing the way they did starting the way they did uh great night nevertheless great show by by behemoth man this tour is amazing yeah. if you guys have a chance to go check it out in a city nearby don't miss it but show up early check out all four bands they all deserve some love great tour package and we'll see you guys at the next video see ya